Someone recently wrote, The fact that Jesus himself is interceding for me to my Heavenly Father just blows me away. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Just keep in mind that we must be abiding in him and following the lead he provides through the Holy Spirit. Otherwise, we return to condemnation. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Having the Holy Spirit is necessary and essential, but nothing changes unless we follow it. We must be in repentance, willing to be led, following the lead He provides through the Holy Spirit. He will help us overcome slavery to sin, but we must be willing. Jesus says, As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Note the ifs. For if you live after the flesh, you shall die. But if you through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, you shall live. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. While we walk in the light, the Holy Spirit, He intercedes for us and covers, present tense, new sins we might commit. But if we walk in the light, as He is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ His Son cleanses us from all sin. Wherefore he is able also to save them to the uttermost, to come unto God by him, seeing he ever lives to make intercession for them. How do we come unto God? On his terms. And the time to this ignorance God winked at, but now commands all men everywhere to repent. Obey, and we are promised his mercy. He that covers his sins shall not prosper, but whoso confesses and forsakes them shall have mercy. But if we revert to willful sin, no longer in repentance, no longer abiding in him, there is no coverage for those new sins. For if we sin willfully, after that we have received knowledge of the truth, there remains no more sacrifice for sins, but a certain fearful looking for of judgment and fiery indignation which shall devour the adversaries. Judgment is on the house of God, his church, right now. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? Let us therefore fear, lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest, any view should seem to come short of it. Wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you shall never fall. For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.